Welcome everybody. So today we'll talk about this uh, quick scene I uh, went through small project of a helicopter that's uh, flying and being attacked by a rocket. As you can see, the rocket will come here and it will explode. This is the first of the explosion. Then the helicopter is smoke. Then it falls on the ground and smoke from the dust and the fire. Another uh, view. I put this video separated in uh, different videos you can enjoy and watch. The model I took it from Sketchfab, thanks to Mr. Ashley Asset. Very good model. And now we go through the file. Here, first, we will talk about the model preparation and how we prepare it for animation and for simulation and separated its parts. So, this is the scene, and this is the model. After I resize it to its proper scale, so this is Tommy, so approximately uh, appropriate. I went and I split it because I want the fan here and the second fan there to be rotating. So, as you can see, they are rotating. Then I merge everything together, and after that, uh, I took this part and I animated. So this is the quick animation. Then it will be hit here by the rocket and fall on the ground. So this goes to the simulation. In this part I'm removing the unnecessarily attribute, adding a redshift material, same transformation, adding some normal and point velocity for the motion floor. And this one goes out. And this is the redshift material I have a basic material and the shader that came with it with roughness and some pump mapping now we'll talk about the pre-simulation preparation stage where we prepare the models we separating them we adding the source and uh, creating the VDBs. So here is the object view. These are all will be rendered. That's why I added here R and D at the beginning of it. So in the out, I will render anything that have this R and D in it. So even if it's disabled or enabled, it will be triggered, and the others will not be seen. This is where I prepare my stuff. Today we'll talk about the rocket. So uh, in this video we'll uh, go through the rocket uh, preparation, importing it, creating some points uh, to emit uh, other particles so we can control the smoke because we uh, will just make a smoke here. Uh, no fire, no fire, only smoke that's uh, trailing behind the rocket. So. In this part, I went and steal uh, one of the helicopter rocket. I can go here to G. So we have a couple of rockets. I took one of them. And 
then uh, I make the transformation so this is no it's not animated yet then I just change its location then I created a tube small tube that will uh, be at the back of the rocket because if you can see here it's hollow empty so polyfill then I transform it so it's sitting behind the rocket and here I created the animation let's go to the camera see let's add some velocity I didn't add it here. Here I added the velocity as it trails off. And I make it disappear after frame 42 when it hit. Here, it's the same transformation. some velocity then I went through the pop network I created it uh, as constant activation till frame 43 then it will stop and add some wind source for my uh, smoke time wrap so I can fill up in between frame and in the bio source I'm creating density and temperature only randomizing it a little bit and volume rasterize the density temperature you need for pair and in the pyro uh, I'm just sourcing back the density and the temperature and the velocity velocity I'll make it 5 let's make it 4 no collision dissipation and some turbulence and wind this is how it goes video will continue and talk about the remaining uh, of the explosions thank you keep watching thank you very much